First of all, open up a new document in Adobe Photoshop. To create a vintage background for the poster, open an image of vintage texture and resize it according to the canvas. Now open an image of grudge texture, resize it and change its layer mode to multiply. Now open a textured paper image and resize it to fit the canvas. Change its layer mode to hard light and its opacity to 55%. When all the textured paper images are ready, then we will adjust the brightness and contrast of the textures. Select the brightness contrast icon in the adjustment panel and adjust the bars accordingly. Once the background is ready, open an image of vintage perfume bottle and use the quick selection tool to crop out the bottle from the photograph. Now add paint daubs filter to the perfume layer. Go to the filter tab, click artistic and then choose paint daubs. Adjust the setting according to the object. Next go to the filter tab again and apply film grain filter this time. Duplicate the perfume layer and then add a motion blur filter on it. Go to filter, select blur and then choose motion blur with an angle of 90 degrees and a distance of 30 points. Once the motion blur filter has been applied, double click on the layer to open the blending options. Apply gradient overlay. After applying the gradient colors, change its opacity to 50%. Again, duplicate this layer and go to gradient overlay options. Change the angle to zero degrees. Now to add colorful lines in the background. Use Rectangular Marquee tool to draw an elongated rectangle on a new layer and use the brush tool to apply color. Repeat this step five times with the same colors used for gradient. Next, use the brush tool to add white highlights in between the colors. Apply Gaussian Blur to the layer and change its opacity to 52%. Press Ctrl T to select and rotate it according to the design. Now use the brush tool to apply color at the bottom right. Apply Wave Filter to it by going to Distort Filters and then choosing Wave. Adjust the settings accordingly. Now use Brush Tool and style Urban Brushes 2 and apply a vintage motive to the upper left corner. Set its opacity to 45%. Finally, insert the text. Use the Type tool and insert the tagline and perfume name using Vladimir's script font. The poster is ready.